Hello everyone, welcome to my garage and today is a very good day because it's new bike day. As you can see, this is my new 2021 NS Bikes Decade, available now in a few nice colours including this toothpaste blue which I've gone for, as well as Spank's new Wicked Parts coming um, in all different colours and for this one I've gone for purple which is going to look really cool. So we'll get straight into it, I've already put the cranks on. So let's get on to the more exciting parts, like probably the fork straight away to make it look like a bike. The SR Sontor Duralux 36, reduced down to 100mm, that's all you need for a dirt jump bike. There's definitely tools for this, but yeah, just forget to buy it every time. So I actually just use an old one to smash on the new one. And as you can see, no one can argue with the fact that that is a fantastic job. So quite a cool thing about the NS Decade is the headset is built into the frame, so all you need is literally the bearing there and it just slots straight in the bottom there. Straight in the bottom there. <laughs> so as I said, it just slips easily into the bottom of the frame there. There we go. So I am just putting it together roughly, just to size up the head tube. So I know where to cut it. Right, so we'll cut the top of this off at the perfect length. Perfect. There we go. Now we'll put some grease on. You can tell I like this bike and I'm excited because I'm actually putting grease in it. <laughs> oh, there we go. So these are the beautiful new Spank parts in question, we've got the uh, the classic spike Vibracore bars with 50mm rise, which I always have. The Vibracore inside to sort of take away a few of the vibrations, it's like a green foam. And the split 38 stem in new purple, which is new to the range. Comes in a few different colours, but the purple is going to look banging on this one. 38mm long, so it's quite short, but that's good. It makes the bike short and playful and fun, and good for bar spins too, like that. So if the new purple stem and spacers weren't cool enough, they've also got the spike grips and the new Uzi pedals, all in the different colours as well, so you can match up your stuff. And, oh yes, that is going to be sick. So these bars come in 800 width, which is um, really good if you like that, but it's a bit outrageous for a dirt jump bike. Um, I'm going to cut them down, probably a centimetre off each side, to 780, maybe a little bit more, 750, something around those, which is, yeah, better for tables, better for moving the bike around, and good for bar spins and tricks. Luckily these bars actually come with these cool markings so you can cut exactly the right amount off so you know just how wide your bar is going to be. Saddles on, same as always, the Spank Sniff which is my signature seat. Nice burly rails, grippy top. Strong sides, epic for dirt jumping, free riding, and we don't choose anything else, so that's on. Next up is the brake. Again, only the finest for this bike. And we've got the Shimano XTR brake. So I'll keep that nice and long as it comes, and then wrap it around two or three times there. That way it's sort of tight around there, and gives me room to do two, three, or four bar spins or tail whips, which is what this bike's all about. All right, there we go. So. The only thing left is the wheels now. That is a complete dirt jump bike. It even does bar spins on its own. That's how keen it is to get riding. So let's put these wheels on. Where are the wheels? I don't know, they're on the grass still. <laughs> <laughs> For the wheels, we got the Spank 26 inch single speed dirt jump wheel set. Super light, super strong, and uh, comes with a single speed cog here. Uh, I've changed it out. It comes, or it came with an 11 but that's a little bit too hard gearing, so I'm going to change it to 13 because that matches up with my 30 that I've got on the front there for a perfect gear, but that was super easy to change. Yeah, perfect set of wheels for dirt jumping, pump tracks. Um, go check them out on the Spank website, which is in the description below. 
So on this bike, normally I'd go for the Kenda 360, which are these smooth dirt jump tires. They're super light and good for the jumps. They don't dig in, which is great for when you build a new takeoff or something. But because we're going straight to Audi 9s next week, I'm using the slightly knoblier, more aggressive Block 8 Pro tire, just because Audi 9s the jumps are really big. Um, the landings are a bit rocky. Sometimes you need to brake a lot more than normally I would in the garden. And you just need a bit more, um, a bit more sort of grip. So that's why I'm going for these tyres. So there we go. I'll pump them up. I'll probably put 50 psi in front and rear because that helps you carry good speed. That's what you need for um, for dirt jumps. And a gangster black chain to finish things off. Right, let's get it down onto its wheels then, and uh, put a few cable ties on it. Do up all the bolts and go take it for a ride. Right, so here it is, looks amazing. Uh, so we've come to test it out somewhere a bit different to the back garden. We thought we'd change it up. For now, we've come to s p Bike Park, Milford, where there's a load of small jumps to warm up on. Make sure the bolts are all done up tight. And then a few big jumps to try some tricks. Make sure it's good to go for Audi 9s next week. First impressions, the bolt's done up tight luckily, the jumps are very bumpy and dusty and it's really windy, but I think we can have a good, uh, a good little sesh. Um, I'll tell you one thing, it's very light, which is scary in the wind, but it feels amazing. So I'm gonna do a few more laps, get used to it, move on to the big line now, and maybe yeah, do some tricks. We've met some new friends at the jumps. Brandon is one of them, and he really wanted to try a 360, so I said if I did an opposite 360, he had to try a 360, and now he's stoked. Now he's gonna try some 360s. Oh, that's a good one. Yo! <laughs> Bikes approved. The new colour. 
works just as well as the old cover, if not better. And just about hung onto that run there, which is quite sick. Even though I'm uh, feeling a bit sketch, but that was wicked. <laughs> Random Lander 360, the new bike is epic, ready for Audi 9s. Thanks everyone for watching. Check out next week when the digger's in the garden. That's why we're not there right now, because I haven't finished yet. But I'll finish it by next week. Thanks for watching. See you then.